Learn to be still. You have to learn to be still. Okay, so to know that He is God. Too many times we're we're we're, we're moving, we're talking, we're doing certain things, and we never be still. And you often wonder why we can't be still. Why do you think we can't be still? So this thing uh, about these distractions, uh, when did these things start? <laughs> Start when, when you were very young, right? When you finally start to think and reason, things begin to come, right? Mm -hmm. They never stop. They never stop. We never gain control in order to say, slow down, stop. That's why it's so hard for us. This is a lifetime thing that's been like this all the time. So as we learn in our prayer, uh, our prayer seminar, the mind is very wild. It's a very wild thing. And it's been wild, why? Because we never tame it. We allow everything to come in all the time. You know, we had you know very little skills in trying to control something. I want you to think for a minute. If you just stop for a minute and just 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 stop for a minute and say uh, for about one minute and don't think about anything and tell me if your mind is being invaded. Just, just close your eyes for, for one minute. Tell me what happens. You can close your eyes. Don't try to think of anything. Let's see what happens. Try not to let anything in. Try hard. Oh, I can Even though you didn't try to, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, you didn't try to say, hey, come here, did you? It came. Because you were trying to be still, right? And the stuff came. You know why it comes like that? Because we never tamed the mind. It's been like that since our youth. That's when why people can't be still and know that, that, that there is a God. You see? Because, see, first you've got to be still. And then know that there is a God before you can worship Him. If you can't be still, you, you won't worship him. Because when you, when you are driving super fast down the road, say you're going about 60, 70 miles an hour, and you look to the side on the, uh, how's the scenery going? Fast, right? If, 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 if there was something of importance, you couldn't see it because you're going past it. That's the reason God said, be still. Because, see, we're moving too fast to recognize that there is a God there. The world is pulling us all the time. Do this. Do this. Got to do this and whatever. That's the reason why. If you look in your Bibles, in 2 Corinthians 10, uh, 4 through 6, you will see. Only... 
when you became a Christian, have you learned that the tools that you uh, that you already have the tools that you need to do that? What does uh, Second Corinthians ten say? You do have the tools to do that. Look on the cruiser. Not that one, cruiser. Three. Down to six. What does that say? Mm -hmm. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the full and down stronghold, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. How many thoughts did it say? Everyone. Right? So that means that the whole time that, that we were unsaved, whatever, we didn't have the ability to stand at the foyer of our mind and check things that's coming in. We didn't practice that. So therefore the main the mind stays wild. Things keep coming in and keep coming in. You see? That's why the Bible says you got to be still, because if you don't be still and know that he's God, then those things that, that will come in, what would it say, that, that exalt itself uh, against the knowledge of God? Okay. You know what they do? When, when those things come in and set up a scene, okay. it exalts itself uh, uh, against the knowledge of God, and guess what happens? That's who you become. That's who you become. So if these things are in you know in our mind taking us at a real fast pace, real fast pace, this this wasn't happening. We're we're racing, and we and we and, and we won't be still long enough to see that there is a God. If you don't see Him, you won't worship Him. That's the meaning of that scripture. In Psalms forty-one ten, we have to learn to be still before. Uh, it's the other one, uh, uh, introduction. It's a PowerPoint. See what happened in that little that little exercise? Because it's something that we're supposed to do every day. We gotta practice doing that, stopping those things from coming into our mind, even if we just do it five minutes a day. And then lengthen that time as you go on. Five minutes, then ten, ten minutes, and on. Until you can reach a half an hour or to an hour. Because I can reach an hour and just just and and everything, nothing comes over the wall. Oh yeah, that was my Nothing comes over. Only the things supposed to come over that you allow to come over. That's how it's supposed to be. Because it said bring in every thought. And we do have the ability to do that with the power of the Holy Spirit within us. We do, we, we do have that power to do that. But we have to practice that. It's a spiritual discipline that, that we have to practice. If you don't, your mind will be overloaded. And things will come in and set up a seed. And then when the seed is, is set up, and then if you're still not watching, then what, what happens is that what happens is that it uh, sets up a stronghold. 
Because since you're not watching it, that that, that seed was there, and something else comes in and feeds that. And then the cycle goes on and on and on and on until it, it, it comes to be a stronghold and you find yourself acting exactly the way that is in your mind. And you know, then you wonder why you can't get rid of it. Because it's a stronghold. You're up, Pastor Phil. Cause is a stronghold. Glory be to God. It's been fit almost 20 years, just about, since the last time that we did this. 